Hi, I'm Eric from Ecomposer Shopify Page Builder. Welcome to Ecomposer Extension Tutorials. Well, you must probably wonder if you are using Google Fonts for your website, but suddenly something goes wrong as this, this, and this. It means that you have committed GDPR law, and if you continue to use the website, you would definitely pay a fine which is up to 10 million euros. So, in today's video, I will share with you how to add the Google Fonts GDPR compliant to your Shopify store using a Composer extension. To begin with, I have to tell you that at the beginning of 2022, Germany ruled the use of Google Fonts as a violation of GDPR. As a result, EU Shopify user was suspended using fonts from Google. This violation also had a crucial impact on visitors from Europe. So, what is GDPR? The GDPR is Europe's newest law on privacy and security, which aims to protect the individual's data and privacy of EU citizens. So, why using Google Form is disobey GDPR? Because whenever a visitor from Europe opens a page on your website, their IP address is also sent to Google because Google needs visitors' IP address to transmit the Google Form file to them. So, you have two ways to handle this issue. Firstly, you can use Fontify, Google and Custom Fonts. This app allows you to use any font, both Google and Custom Fonts. Especially, Fontify ensures you use Google Fonts without GDPR violation. You can find out more about Fontify on the link in the description below. You also have other choice. You can use Google Form GDPR compliant of a Composer extension. I will focus on the second solution in this video. Let's dive in. This extension aims to solve this by locally hosting Google Forms on your website instead of requiring your user IP address. Now, let's find out how to use Google Form GDPR compliant extension. Before we start, I have to notice that this extension can be used on all page categories of the Composer. So, let's start with Homepage. In here, you can easily see the template library of the Composer is automatically appear whenever you open the editor. This time, I will choose this template as my favorite template. Okay, this is the outcome. Now, we will install the extension. In here, you can see extension library. Please click on this. Now, scroll down. In here, you can see Google Fonts GDPR compliant. Please click install now. And remember to click on this to enable Google Fonts GDPR compliant extension. Now, let's come back to the editor and publish the template. Now, I will view the live page. So, this is a live site, and you could probably wonder how to check if the extension works or not. Well, you can check it by opening this website as I show on the screen, which I have put the link in the description below. Now, the first thing you need to do is open your live site and copy its URL. Now, come back to Google Form Checker and paste your store URL in here. Then, click Start. As you can see that the results show that the extension is working properly. That's all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join Ecoposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. I'm putting the details in the description below. See you again in the next video. Goodbye.